And here we have an Arcella Testate Amoeba. This is from a 15-acre pond in Tennessee, sent to me by a friend of mine down there. At first I thought he was dead, but nope, he's alive. Made the trip in the UPS truck. Threw my pipette and onto the slide and he's still alive. First one of these I've seen in almost a year. What you're seeing there, the stuff inside, that's that's the amoeba. The orange thing is a shell he's made. You can kind of, if I focus right, there you can kind of get some more light on this. Kind of see the, he makes that shell out of a, uh, out of silica, which I assume he makes somehow. And puts it together and the original Arcella amoeba when he's ready to divide he will make a, a mirror image of that shell opening to opening and you're looking down through the top right now the lighter center is the opening at the bottom that he sticks his pseudopods through which, let's see, at the edge, around the edge there at the bottom you can just barely see some of his pseudopods sticking out and that's, he's touching the glass on the slide to drag himself along. They're not they're clear kind of gelatin so you can kind of see right through them but you can see them there if you know what to look for but you can see the uh, body of the amoeba itself is that irregular darker thing in the middle there it looks like Antarctica Right now I am using a uh, Nikon 40X Plan Acromat lens, uh, Canon T1i camera in video mode. There you can kind of see the uh, scales of the shell and how it's made up. You're looking down on the top of like an orange. There you can see some stuff inside him moving around. Probably waste that he's going to get rid of soon. Fascinating. These amoebas, this is why I bought this microscope. Amoebas have always interested me. Fascinating things, aren't they? One of the uh, most successful life forms. Another ham sandwich. Oh, this is turkey. Maybe I'll like this better. It's 
See, he's moving right over the top of that. You can see it right through his shell. Let's see if he takes it and eats it. Well, it looks like it uh, just stopped. Uh, oh, there he goes. This is another testate amoeba. Right now I'm using the 20X Plan Apo. don't know the name of this guy but he's his shell is made up of small bits of debris sand well smaller than sand but stuff he finds around not stuff he makes like silica like an arcella got yeah, kind of an interesting looking opening here looks like he just Spelled a little bit of stuff there. I haven't seen one of these before, so I don't know exactly what name he is. These pseudopods are quite large. There goes a nematode swimming by. He's using that pseudopod pretty nice there. Uh, the lens is a Nikon 20X Plan Apo. Yeah, he's expelling some more stuff. Uh, I'm on a Nikon Fluopod scope. He's in a Canon T1i camera in video mode, which is, the T1i is all automatic. All I can do is adjust the white balance. I can't do that while I'm filming, so I have to do it before I start, which I did. Let's give this some more light. Quite a pseudopod he's got there. This is a sample sent to me from Tennessee by a friend of mine, Jim, down there. He collected this in a 15-acre open pond. A bottomland pond surrounded by tall grass. It was collected on September the 5th and he sent it to me UPS and it made it here with everything looking alive anyway. A little bit of incredible diversity 
of stuff that I've never seen. I live uh, about five, 500, maybe 600 miles north of him along the Mississippi in Wisconsin. Minnesota's across the river. Yeah. Looks like he stopped moving.